Welcome back, everyone, from the lunch break. Council, if we're ready to continue, bring in your witness, please. Thank you. Indeed, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Osha, can you please guide the witness in? I, Pierre J. Mendy. I, Lieutenant Colonel Pierre J. Mendy. Do swear that. Do swear by. I'll speak the truth. I speak the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. Good afternoon. As you already know, my name is Mariama Singate, and I will be leading you on behalf of the Commission this afternoon. For today, we are going to discuss your bi biographical details so that the Commission will get to know who you are. We'll briefly deal with your career in the Army, the various positions that you held since then, we'll deal with your arrest and detention in the aftermath of the March 2006 Ndurcham aborted coup. We'll deal with your experience during the course of your detention, your experience during your trial, the impact of your detention on you and your family. And um, when I'm done with the questioning, will give you the opportunity to address the country. Thank you. 
Can you please tell the commission your name? My name is Pat John Mendy. When and where, sorry, my apologies, Madam Interpreter. I forgot that you're supposed to interpret. It's okay. Mangi to the pair, J. Mendy. When and where were you born? Fanga Judo, Ak Kanga Judo. I was born in Banjul on the 21st October 1963. Mangi Judo Banjul, Nyarfuki Fana Ben, a very October atun 1963. Kindly give us a brief background of your education. John Chilu Gatarek, Sanjanga, Finga Dorebe, Fanga M. I attended St. John's Primary School from 1969 to 1971. Then to St. Augustine Junior Secondary Technical School from 1976 to 1980. St. Augustine's Junior Secondary School, 1976 by 1980. Uh, during the period, I sat to the secondary four living certificate that gained me entrance to St. Augustine's High School. I was there from 1980 to 1983. I sat to the GCE ordinary level. Ma jel natum ham hami GCE o level. And then enlist in the Gambia National Zandan Muri in 1984. Chila dal di Gambia National Zandan Muri bi atum 1984. After passing out. Ba ma jeh halen jangami. Go on please. I was post. I was posted to the admin office. And later posted to the accounts office. In 1989, I was posted to State House as a bodyguard to the President of the First Republic. Then in 1992, I went to join the Turkish badge, the second badge of the Turkish badge. Madam Bokachi Nyare Libankas, we have the new Turkish badge. To try my chance to be an officer cadet. Purma Jim Nak said Suma Ursa, Purma Munanek, officer cadet. After the training, Gana Bunjafe Nyang and Bepare. In 1993, I sat to the Cadet Selection Board. Atum 1993, I was later promoted to Officer Cadet. With uh, Momodou Sisenjai. Who is now in South Sudan. And the late Paul Mendy of Blessed Memory. Paul Mendy. Your promotion as officer cadet was when you joined the Gambia National Army, correct? No. Should I say when the, uh, the gendarmerie was amalgamated into the Gambia National Army? No, I was promoted to officer cadet before the agalmation. I rose through the rank from lance corporal to staff sergeant before being promoted to officer cadet. Then in 1995 after completing my basic officer course in Turkey. Lolo 1995 Turkey. Where were you posted after that? 
fan lañ la yobbon pour liggey gannaaw lolu i was posted at the state house as the principal protecting officer to the chairman of the armed forces provisional ruling council ci lañ may yobbu nak state house ma jité ñi nga xamné ño di ar ka nga xamné mo nekkon chairman jamono joju provisional ruling council for how long did you remain as a protection officer ñata dir nga nekkon ci place bobu pour nekk dat protection officer bi i was there up till 1998 ma ngi fa won be atum 1998 Then I was sent for my young officer course in Pakistan, Quetta. Chilang ma ebali nang madam de fibenen yanga cha Pakistan. I spent five months in Pakistan, Quetta. Juro mi wer la de Pakistan, Quetta. On my return, ba ma de lusi. I served one month at the state house. Ma de fiben na wer cha state house. And I was posted as the officer. commanding military police at Yundum Barracks. Ci lañ may yobbu Yundum Barracks nak ma jité military police bi fofu. What year was this? Bobu ban at la won 1998 November. 1998 la won ci wéri November. And how long did you remain as a commanding officer in Yundum? I was there up ban be ban at nga fa nekkon ci commanding officer bi military police. I was there up to 2000 January. Ma ngi fa won be wéri January atum 2000. Go on, please. Continue. From January, I was then posted to the army headquarters. Gana January, na chile njema yobo chima kambu makbu soldari. Army headquarters as SO1 training and operation. Maneka fana chima hama binyo wa SO1 training operation. Then the the same year in July, I was selected for a UN mission in Sierra Leone. Ben at Bobo nak chilang matan na puro madam tayo si Ron Bota hati adin na si Jerry Wiserilion. I served there for one year. Neka na for diri Ben at. In July 2001. July atum 2001. I came back. Madelu siwat. And after my disembarkment leave. Gana bumade face suman leave ba para gana bumani bise. I was posted to two infantry battalion Farafenye. Nyo bu ma Farafenye fa ñoo wax two infantry battalion. As the second in command. Ma top nak ci ka nga xamne mo fa jité won. After 3 months. Gannaaw ñetti wër. I was then reposted to state house. Ci lañ ma delo ci wat state house. I was at state house till 2003. Ma ngi won state house be 2003. And then I was posted back to the headquarters. You did not see what my team can do, soldier. As SO1 training and operation. Maneka for you know SO1 training and operation. In January. Very January. I was appointed acting director of operation and training. You did not act up for the matter. Can you have any more director of operation and training? The same year. Chabena Adba. In July, very July, I was selected to go on a UN mission in Liberia. You turn at him, poor madam Liberia, the of an action what I hate Adinas. I was there till 2005. Mang for one be atum 2005. When I came, bama ni bisi. After my disembarkment leave, gana abu majeli suma leave binga hamne kuni bisi be para balanga door ligi mom gajil. I was then posted. Nchile ni mayobu. As brigade major, the Mahama brigade major, to the RNG commander. She can have no more duty RNG. I was there up till October. Fala ne kanak be very October. When I was appointed, Chile ni madal ditana. Officer commanding Fajara Barracks Guards Battalion. The manang ma duty Fajara Barracks Guards Battalion. My apologies. Um, in year 2000, when you were commanding officer Yundum Barracks. 2000, bangani ke njiti, bangani ke commander military fi chi military barracks. Sorry, um, I did not say that. Hmm. What did you I say? I said in 2000 when he was commanding officer Yundum Barracks. 2000, bangani ke njiti cha Yundum Barracks, commanding hmm. officer. I was not commanding officer Yundum Barracks. I was commander of the military police. 
nekuma won ni ñoo wax commanding officer man ma jité won li nga xamné moy military police ba you were the commanding officer of the military police yes yeah, you were the military police ya fa nekkon can you recall the fall coup of uh, al mamo mané in Ye 2000 yes i can fully recall waaw mun na fatale ko coup d'etat bu manki bo nga xamné al mamo mané moko jité won can you tell us what you witnessed on that day mën nga ñoo wax li nga gis li xewon bes bobu on that fateful day i was the duty officer in the barracks bes bobu man ma nekkon duty ci barracks bi fofu around 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock digante jurom ñeneen ti waxtu be fukki waxtu yi the army chief of staffs called me ki nga xamne mo jité won soldat yi dal dima o that is colonel babukar jata ko ko moy won colonel babukar jata and asked me about the camp commandant who was major kanté mu laaj ma mbiri major kanté nga xamne mo mo jité won camp bi fofu i told him that major kanté i think left for weekend to sifu mané ko dé yakarna mejo kanté dé da fa dem weekend ci sifu but if you need him i can send the vehicle to go and get him way bu dé dang ko soxla mun na ebal moto dé mu dem jëli ko he said no it's not necessary mu né ma dé dé jaru ko so after one hour he called again gannaaw di ré ben waxtu mu oté wat he said uh, how are the men mu né naka gaay I said that everybody is fine. Mané lén ñepp a ngi ci jamm. We are about to send our patrol out. Ñu ngi wara ébal nak ñi nga xamné ñoo wara dem ci wori ci dëkk bi. So he said no hold on. Mu né ma dédé taara la gum. Okay. An order hour again he called. Mu toga diri ben waxtu wat mu oté wat. He say how are the men? Mu né ma ana gaay. I said everybody is fine. Mané ko ñepp a ngi ci jamm. So is anything the matter? Mana ko hana da fa am lu xew? He said no. Mu ne ma dedit. Then the deputy CDS also the deputy chief of staff called me. Ka nga xamne nak mo top ci chief of staff bi mu oma. Lieutenant Colonel Momadou Badji. Lieutenant Colonel Momadou Badji. And said pair. Mu ne ma pair. How is yundum? Naka yundum. I say we are doing good. Mana ko ñu ngi ci jamma. I see it sir but I don't understand today. Mane ko man day mu numa xamé tay nak bes bi lu xew. The chief of staff called me three times. Chief of staff bi ona ma ñett yoon. And you have just called me. Tay yotam yaangi ni dima o. So what's the matter? Hana lu xew. He said that I'll call you later. Mu numa dina la oya ci kanam. So I fall in my QRF. Eh ci la dal di jajale suma QRF. And told them that Wah len ne. Nobody should enter the barracks without my permission. Bu ken duga ci barracks bi te man yegumako. Anybody that comes kepa ku ñew call the anti room and inform me. Kolal fi ci anti room bi nga yegal mako. Be extra vigilant. Baye len xel nak bu baax. I went round all the guards and informed them. Madam ci ñi garder yeb xamal len lool. Then after uh, I received the fourth call. Ganaw nak ñu oyaat ma telephone ñenen tele yoon bi. He told me Nune, pair, pair. There is a coup. Coup de mo hew. Alma mo mane and sane. Alma mo mane ak sane. I said, but sir, you should have informed me before. Mane ko wa yen dangen ma ko rona tela wa. I've already positioned my guards. Let them be on alert. Man ni ma gardel ni kuti ne katek na la sa palas. Did said, anything happen at the camp on that day? ndax amna dara lo xamne xewna ci camp bi bes bobu yes wow around 3 am boori ñetti waxtu yi ci haaji guddi they brought the body of almamo mané ñu indi niwi almamo mané please in the trunk of his 504 te ko ci gannaaw moto 504 yam bi and landing sane was handcuffed with was tied with rifle sling Uh, landing sane momi tammi dañ takkal xomi they were escorted by ñu uh, ki nga xamne mo len jité won euh Moussa Jamé Moussa Jamé Serigne Modou Ndiaye Serigne Modou Ndiaye Lalo Jaité Lalo Jaité with a few other NCOs ak ñeneen NCO they came and complimented me euh ñu ñew dal dima gërem 
the president said we bring these people here. Nyune ma president mine nen indi nyi fi. Who is Yaya Jame? Mo Yaya Jame won. So, but before they are coming, Why John Exi? I was informed by the chief of staff, chief of staff we have a lot of money. that uh, they are bringing landing Sane and Alma Momani. So I tasked the RP who is on duty and the medics, the RP to prepare the cell and the medic to create a place where the body should be. And then when they, when they arrive, I send, after taking the particulars of Sane and everything, and uh, the particulars of Almamo, then uh, Almamo was the was sent to the clinic. Almamo nyu ebalko chi clinic bi. The body was taken to the clinic. Niuba lenyu buche clinic ba. And then Sane Sane was taken to cell. Sane mom nyu dugal kochi cell bi. What was the state of Almamo's body? Almamo time bobo niwa mbi nakala melon. Oh, it was horrible. The padoy on war. There were bullets all over. And the face and the, the chest, multiple bullets. Did you do anything with respect to his body? Yes, it was escorted to the mortuary, to the, to the, to the clinic, and then the following day, the chief of staff came with the deputy. Chief of staff we knew and the deputy MB. Who was the chief of staff at that time? Time Bobo. What Bobo? Can I make on chief of staff? Colonel Babu Karjata. Colonel Babu Karjata. And his deputy? Uh, uh, Kito Ponti Momoikan. Lieutenant Colonel Momodu Bojang. Lieutenant Colonel Momodu Baji. Lieutenant Colonel Momodu Baji. Moto Ponti Mom. What happened after when they came? Lana Khobiga Akse Fufu. They they briefed the men. Then Hamal soldari. And then after. Ganaobi. I went to Babukar Jata. Colonel Babukar Jata. Chila and them to Colonel Babukar Jata. And uh, asked him whether we can escort the corpse to the mortuary. Malaj konak na. He said, no, wait. Then he called uh, the, his deputy. And they spoke. After the deputy called me. And said that uh, you have to bury Almamo Mane. But I said, I am not a Muslim. And uh, the corpse, I think they should wash it before burial. He said that, no, these are instructions. You have to bury it. You have to uh, get some of your men. They dig the grave, and then you, you bury him. I still insist that I am not a Muslim, and I have never buried a human being. But he said that uh, you saw me standing with the chief of staff. So just get the, the Muslim boys after prayers. And then uh, you bury him. And then I instructed my men. The dog, uh, the hole behind the, behind the clinic. And then they place him in the hole. 
I told them to pray for him. And then they pray kulwa Allahu adu. And then after he was buried. Was his graveyard marked? It was marked. Wow, Mandarga Angfawon. But now I don't think it can be identified because there are a lot of buildings there. Why leg the go money on that general area? Go money in Komuna Hamed and Dacha Amna Itabahu Barrio Hamne different coach Gana Clinic B. Was his family informed of his death? Nga, Yigal Nang Bokam in a mom at Alma Modena. I'm not aware of that, but later, I heard that uh, the state guard personnel went to the house there. I heard that the Going back to 2005, when you were appointed as commanding officer of the guards battalion Fajara Barracks, in 2005, I was commanding officer of the infantry battalion, guards battalion. How long did you serve in that position? I served there six months. From October to March 21st. October, Benyan Fukifana Bena very much. What happened after March 21st? Lan March 21st passed. Lana Hewon. The very day of March 21st. Best Bobu, the best in March 21st. Nyar Fukifana Bena very much. I went to Banjul. The Madam Banjul. To help my guardian's daughter to secure a passport. Udimbelena ko hamne da poro na am passport do misu mambokala. So the director promised me. On Friday, Director Bidik Manakne Ajuma. I left there and went to the joint headquarters. Ila for Jogena, then for your joint headquarters. Where I was supposed to meet Captain Samba Balde. Mang foron dajena a Captain Samba Balde. Who was going to Liberia? Jamanu Jojo Mungdon White put them Liberia. To help me secure my five hundred dollars, which was deducted from my salary. Pour me dire que mon ami George est sur ma journée mais il est dans la bingue à hamne d'un code doc qui est sur ma feuille. Because it is a norm in the UN. Nathan, ni l'un qu'on est faral de faire n'acte une botte à Henry. If you are to check out, ça fait que ne y a rien à gagner. Then you, they, they normally deduct five hundred dollars. Then you faral de gagner une journée mais il est dans la. To check whether you have not damaged any or lose any UN property. Pour ça, na ya kolo darlo hamne nyom nyom komo mu UNB. And it was over nine months before I received my before, and I was not refunded. Te togo na bem dem bedi rijuro mi nenti wer kende lo mahalis. So I gave my particulars to Captain Samba Balde. To make a follow-up for me. Chila wasuma biriyep na Captain Samba Balde pour mo topal mako. After your conversation with Captain Samba Balde. Binga wachene ak Captain Samba Balde be pare. What did you do? Langadev. Then Captain Sehu Sekan. Kunywa wa Captain Sehu Sekan. And the late Lieutenant Dem. Ak Dem si alasi Lieutenant Dem. The Khan told me that uh, whether I did not pass through the defense headquarters. Second, I was told that I was a soldier in the Khan. I said, no, I have no business there. I said, I said, no, I have no business there. I said, no, I have no business there. My reason of coming here is to meet Balde for him to help me secure my money. What I said, 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 Captain Bunja Dabo just called him. Munema, Captain Bunja Dabo, they legi lama ochi telephone. That I should meet the CDS with them. Ne, dama wala gise ak CDS anyom. With the no, them is the lead lieutenant them. A akenga hamne mo to the them, ten them si ala sila. He said whether we can go together. Munanda hamuna andanyom. I said no. Maneko did it. 
The CDS knows my number. CDS, hamna suma number. Uh, Bunja knows my number. Bunja, hamna suma number. I am not part of it. Man boku machi. So I'm going back to Fajara Barracks. Mange delu Fajara Barracks. That is how I left and went to Fajara Barracks. Nonda fabaye ko dem Fajara Barracks. I was there till after closing time. Fala ne kabe watu yinyo wara wacha ligi. My second in command. Kinga hamne mo topa chisumako. Who is Lamin F. LFK Jame. Nyiko wa Lamin LFK Jame. Entered my office. Muduga suma office. And said that uh, the deputy CDS Lantombong Tamba is trying you. Munema, kitopa chis CDS bi Lantombong Tamba mong la jema jot. I told him, my phones are here. Mano ko suma telephone yangi nide. There is no ringing tone. Gisuma ben de guma daralu chiring. Likewise, the landline. It's telephone line bitam de guma ko. But he said you have to go and collect the money for the football match on Saturday. Mone danga wara dem jere halis bi na pur football match bi wara am Sunday. I said that money can be collected on on Friday. Mane ko halis bo mo na ko jel ajuma. Did you eventually go to the CDS office to collect yes, the money? Yes, I, I went to go to the office of CDS. Yes. Wow. I went with my driver to the CDS office. I met the CDS office. I office of CDS. I met the oddly sitting outside. I told him to announce me to the deputy CDS. Which he did, and I was ushered in. I complimented. And said, sir, my twice he said that I should come and collect the money. He said, no, leave it till Friday. I told him, sir, these are the exact, exact words I told the twice. Or any officer or soldier coming to Bakau can bring the money. Then he... At that time, what was your position? Time, what to bobo? Ban palace nga amewon, ban position nga amewon. I was the commanding officer at Fajara Barracks. At the same time, the financial secretary of the Gambia Armed Forces Football Club. Man, jite won Fajara Barracks. We pare tami ma mai kinga hamne ma yore won biri kopar gechi football club be soldari fufu. So your dealing with CDS with respect to the monies that you were going to collect was uh, under your portfolio as the financial officer of the football GAM Forces Football Federation, correct? Yes, Council. Wow. Yes, Council. Apart from your discussion about the money that you were supposed to collect, did you discuss any other issues with the deputy CDS? Yes. He... Yes, he informed me that I have been selected for a seminar in Slovakia. Wow. In April. April. So he said, I can, I can see the director of admin, who was Mahmoudou Sar, Commander Mahmoudou Sar. I went to Mahmoudou Sar's office. I went to Mahmoudou Sar's office. And told him that the, the CDS directed me to your office. That I'm selected to go to Slovakia. Ne, then matana pour madem Slovakia. He said yes. Mune ma wow. In fact, the finance office, the director of finance, should write a letter to the defense ministry ministry for your padiem. Na hamsa finance director be the fore be the letter engir nyumun la fei linga hamne e mumle njia wara joh punga tukego. Immediately, the the deputy CDS. Bounce into the office. Kita Hawaii berak deputy city SB duga cibir office B. He looked at us through the eyes. Muhol ni cibir bot. And then went out. Mugena. I complimented the 
Director of Admin. Uh, uh, director of Admin. And say I'm going. That is how I left. When the Deputy CDS looked at you, be deputy city as we knew for Muhalla. Did he say anything to you? He did, not, he did not even utter a word. Was that particular glance surprising to you? Very surprising. Wow, better than my mom. And why was that? Wow, Luta Lulu. Because I was not expecting him. To behave in that manner. As Deputy CDS, if he need any one of us, Mom, come Deputy CDS, so you saw la. There is a, a phone. I'm not telephone. Extension line with between him and the deputy uh, and the director admin. Mo ham ne telephone be mo ne kadigan team ag director bo admin. And he suddenly was sitting outside. He can just press the bell and tell the orderly, call me Captain Mendy or Commander Sar. After that interaction with the, the deputy CDS. Ganao eh holante bu sadigante ak deputy CDS. Did anything else happen that particular day? Ndax amna lenen li xew ci bes bobu. Yes, I went from there. I followed him downstairs. Wa ganao gi topana ko ci suuf. We went to the car park. Ñu dem ci fa mu toy regarder garé. He went with his car. Mom mu dem ak mutom. And I told my driver to start the car and we go back to Bakau. I went to my office. I packed my things. And went home. What happened after you got home? As I was breaking my fast. Then I had a knock on my gate. I told my boy to go and open. That is my son. Who was 10 years old. And uh, all the soldiers knew him. For 10 to 15 minutes, he, would, he was standing at the gate. I told him, who are those guys at the gate? He said they are soldiers. I told them, tell them to come in. So that is how they march in. I saw Staff Sergeant Umpa Mendi. Staff Sergeant Umpa Mendi. Corporal Babukar Bob. Corporal Babukar Bob. And four other recruits. Staff Sergeant Umpa complimented me. Staff Sergeant Umpa knew you want man. And said that, sir, we are here for you. I said, what do you mean? He said, you are needed in Banjul. I said, I was just breaking my fast. You are not needed in the Banjul. I said, I was just breaking my fast. 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 I said, I was just he said, no, it's urgent, let's go. I said, let's go. When I marched out of my residence, I saw four other soldiers with a black Land Rover. I wanted to occupy the front seat. But Staff Sergeant Umpa said, no. Why Staff Sergeant Umpa did it? Then I was sandwiched at the back seat with Corporal Bob and another uh, private soldier. Corporal Bob and soldier. And the rest of them at the back of the Land Rover. At the point when Staff Sergeant Umpa told you that they are, they are there for you. What to be the staff sergeant Umpa Wahene? You the yata you you lang you langsi nyawal. Did he tell you that you were under arrest? No, wahu nane. No, he did not inform me. Did it? Wahud malulu. What did you think that 
he was there for. I think that I was going to the state house or or at the headquarters. Dama forgot ne rek mangé dem state house wala ca headquarters ba. Where did he take you? Fala la yobu. When we arrived at Denton Bridge. Bañ égé ba ca pomissaro ba. The traffic was very ticklish. Mutu yangi bari won. So I asked what is happening? Ci la la ca lu hew. And everyone was quiet. So we continued, we bypassed the traffic. And then we went straight after Hamsa Barracks. Immediately approaching mile two. The driver signal to the right. Driver signal to And then the prison warden raised the barrier up. The other two guys opened the gate. I was told to get out of the way. Then I see this is something planned. So I asked Umpa, why are you bringing me here? She said, I'm instructed to bring you here. Did he show you any warrant for your arrest? No, 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 Not even a blank paper was shown to me. Then what happened? Then Then I was received. I asked him why he said he is instructed to bring me here. By who? He cannot give me an answer. Then I disembarked from the vehicle. Then I was uh, received by, I don't know whether it's a chief inspector or ASP by then, Tiana. And a couple, Ali Ukoli, of blessed memory. Did they present any committal warrant to the prison guards before you were handed over to them? Council, not even a tissue paper. Council, tissue paper, sah wana wunkofa. Were you taken before any military panel before, before let's say before a court martial before you were taken to? Mile two prisons. From my resident direct to mile two. And where at mile two did they take you? Um, the charge was conducted on me. They took my mobile. The money that was in me, my fingering, my chain, and then I was escorted to security wing number five. And I was placed in a dusty cell without, without no bedding. Go on, please. Continue. At midnight, the gate of security wing number five, Bunti security wing number five, and the cell doors, Bunti Selly, we are opening and closing till in the morning. Because they were just arresting, bringing people inside. At that point, when you were Locked up in the security wing. What to do? Being a dugal security wing be tejla fufu. Do you know why you were there? Nda hamga luta yangi fufu. Honestly, I don't know. Diga diga how ma on lanata. Did you meet anyone else at the security wing where you were placed? Nda fekanga ken chi security wing be fufu finla dugal onono. Security wing. 
have 99 cells, Secure. and uh, there were only five, five Se remand prisoners. Security wing. Juro mnye nene fuki cell ak juro mofa neka te juro mrek mnyo yinga hamne nyo remand prisoner ifufu. And all those we are. Uh, we are charged with capital punishment, murder. Not knowing why you were locked up in the security wing, what was going on into your mind? Hamulo sahlita nyu isila security wing. Lodo ni khalati watu bubu. I cannot just imagine what was happening to me. Mm. I said that I said to myself, what have I done? Because I have served more than that time, 23 or 24 years service. And I have never got any query from my superiors. I have never been to sell. I've never been charged. So I don't know what was happening. I, I was totally confused. But I see God be in control of everything that is happening. What happened the following day? I saw Major Wasakamara, Captain Wasakamara, passing me. Damage is Captain Wasakamara, Dima Romba. I say, hey, Captain Kamara. Chila Kone, ah, Captain Kamara. He say, ah, Captain Mendy, you are here? Chila Mane, ah, Captain Mendy, young I say, I'm the first person to be arrested. Mane Komande, Mane ka arrest. So, what is going on? Lana Heohana. He said there was a foil coup. So I just sat down. When there was a plaster on his head. Then I say, wow. wow. So all this is happening and I am not aware. So then I was there. After two days, on the 23rd, I heard somebody saying uh, he was around this end. Then I stood up. I saw Omar Kuli, alias Jagaid. He said that, sir, we are looking for you. I say I'm here. My cell door was open. And I was cuffed in front. Escorted out of security wing number five. security wing number five. And then put in the huma. What was uh, Omar Kuli's role then? At the prisons. Umar Kuli, mom, lana itahawa yam, itahawa, chi watu bobo, chi kaso bifu. Umar Kuli was there. Any detainee who was going in and out, he is the facilitator to take you out. And when you come, he receive you to take you in. Umar Kuli dal mo fa ne correct ke pa ko hamne nyungo indi mo mo ito pato nyu dugal ko kui gena itamid mo mo ito pato nyu gene ko. Was he part of the prison services? Ndah mum chi lige kati prison na ila bokol. No, he was from the state guard battalion. They did. Mum mungi bokon chi nyi guard at the state house. Sorry, before you were taken out. Balang la gene. You had already stayed at mile two for two days. Yes. Nne kanga mile two be nyari fan. During that two days. Chi chi biri nyari fan yoyo. Did they at any point tell you why you were there? No, I'm not what to go. I'm not what I'm not what I'm not what I'm not. Not at all. Did they allow you access to a lawyer? Not at all. I'm not what 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 I
did it. Before a lawyer, you have to get your family so that the, your family can contact the lawyer. Bala lawyer sah, dah gawat joko aksan bokai nyom ni muna joko ak lawyer. Your family were not also aware that you were in mail too. Tersen je bodi sah ya gunye yang email tu. No. Did it. Who were the individuals that Omar Kuli came with to take you out of yourself? Nyan la Omar Kuli andalon, nyan la andalon pur nyu gene la sasel. The prison officers and some of the junglers. Nyinga hamne nyu rige ifu kuti kasobi ak nyen na junglers. Can you recall the names of the junglers that came for you? Ndah munga fatale kuturi junglers yoyu nyinga hamne nyu fanyo on purjel sila. Malik Jata was there. Malik Jata mungshi on. Sana Manjang. Sana Manjang. Jaju alayas Rambu. Jaju nyuko wa Rambu. Mustafa Asane. Mustafa Asane. Michael Korea. Michael Korea. And the other guy, I don't know his name. I can't even kinag mom how maturam. Were you the only one that was taken out on that day? Yo kena lang yobon best bob. That day I was the only guy that was taken away. Best bob man kena reklinch wa gine. Where did they take you? Fan lang la yobon. Straight to the NIA headquarters. Then may yobu cha makani NIA ba? What happened when you arrived at the NIA? As I disembarked from the vehicle, Malik Jata tried to sweep my leg off the ground. Malik Jata On two occasions, but I was still firm on the ground. When we entered the reception, reception ba. When we were climbing the stairs, it seems that it's God that just tell me, turn. He was trying to stroke the rifle on my head. And I raised my hand with the handcuff and bang it off. And uh, Sana Manjang told him to stop. And we went up. They led me through a door where I met a panel sitting. Comprising of uh, Momodu Haidara. From the NIA. Demba Sow. Demba Sow. Boto Keta, Boto Keta, Lamin Cham, Lamin Cham, and uh, other officers and soldiers from State House. Aki nene yu hamne nyungfa ai soldier yu baiko State House. You mentioned that Momodo Haidara was from the NIA. Mm hmm. Wak nene Momodo Haidara NIA la neka. How about Dembaso? Dembaso na mum. Dembaso is from the police. Now is Assistant Inspector General of Police. Demba saw mom to police villa by a colleague is a more motto patching duty policy. What about Botoketa? Botoketa nak? Botoketa was a detective with the police. I'm told that now he he is also a chief superintendent. Botoketa chief police villa and legal legal nak yek nane mom chief superintendent la. What of Lamin Cham? Lamin Cham nak? He is still serving in the police, but I don't know his rank. Mom beleg police lady why how ma bad ma ha ma la yore. So this was a mixed panel uh, of people from the different security outfits. Yes, Council. Wow, Council. Tell us what happened while you were before this panel. Haidara asked me, do you know why you are here? Haidara, I don't know. I said no unless you tell me. It's okay, just lean and be comfortable. The mic will take in your voice. You may continue.
He said that give us a rundown of your weekend activity. And you've already given us a rundown of what you did on the 21st, correct? Yes. Was that the rundown you gave before the panel? Yes, Council. Wow, Council. What happened after you gave that rundown? He said, no, I'm just trying to divert the attention of the panel. Then I told him, Maneko. If you can go to Fajara Barracks. So mune dem Fajara Barracks. You parade all the officers and soldiers. Gadajale officer ye soldier yep. And talk to them. Wahanyom. I always tell them. Sayune kadamalende wahne. We have to be loyal. Then wara je baluchi. And defend the territorial integrity of our motherland. No, ah, linga hamne modi sunyureu mi. If me per mendi as the commanding officer. Bufeke ne man per mendi, linga hamne maji te fufu. Want to manipulate any one of you. Sumalen buge deflo dara yen nip. Please report me to the authorities. Bole len machi kilifai. When you responded in that manner. What was the reaction? He still was adamant that I'm not speaking the truth. What had, sorry, what happened afterwards? That is where he told me that, do you know that there is a foil coup? Do you know that there is a foil coup? I say, okay. Do you know that there is a foil coup? I told him, anyway, I told him, anyway, in October, where in October, when I assumed office as Commander Fajara Barracks, when I assumed office as Commander Fajara Barracks, when I assumed office as Commander Fajara Barracks, we were trying to renovate the fence on the southern part of the barracks towards Newtown. And the CDS knew Cham came there. He was talking to my RSM Alphaba. For 30 minutes in Fuller. After the day's work, I thanked the men for a job well done that we will continue the work tomorrow. Then Arasemba came to my office and said that uh, Ndur Cham, the CDS, said I should go to his residence. I said, yes, you can go. Then in the morning, Chasubasa. normally when I enter my office, the RSM will come and greet me. Then I will, if I have any task for him, I will, I will inform him. With my second in command. Then he told me that I went to the deputy CDS yesterday. I said, uh -huh. He said the CDS is planning to overthrow the government. I told him, Maneko. don't be stupid. Excuse my language, counsel. I told him those words. And said, there is no ocean between me and the CDS. All correspondence emanating from the 
defense headquarters will come to my desk and I will make decisions and give instructions on how to work on it. But you cannot come, me, come here and tell me this. And um, a, a sensitive issue such as planning a coup which is also an unlawful act, will not come in as a correspondence, correct? Yes, that is true. What did you make of uh, what Al Alfaba told you about? the CDS planning a coup. I take it as a joke. I think it's a joke. Then later I think about it. I said that I should inform uh, somebody very close to the president who happens to be Susan Wafa Ogu. I try to find out whether he is in the country. But I was made to understand that she traveled. Then after one week, I forgot about the issue. You, you knew that an issue such as a coup was a, a very sensitive issue. And uh, even concealing it will be an offense. Apart from uh, reporting it thinking of reporting the matter through Mrs. Susan Wafogun. Did you try any other channels? I did not try any other channel. The reason why I take it as a joke because I'm a commanding officer. If there is a operational issue, all commanding officers are invited at the headquarters for a meeting. But I cannot understand this one from not from a lieutenant or a second lieutenant, but from the RSM to me. Why be more? Munu ma jisne. Joge uchi lieutenant wala second lieutenant. Why joge che RSM ni uchi man? I think it was a rubbish to me. A fuck na ne lul dal ane ut mana. Did they believe you when you said that? Da gom ne nila binga wahe lulu. They did not believe me. They de gomu ma. What did? What happened? Nan mo hel. I was then ushered in another room. And the Lamin Cham was with me. Lamin Cham, mung fa wanak man. He said he have to write my statement. Mune da fa wara binda kadu yima johe. I said no, I'm literate. I can write my statement. Ane kodi de janga na muna ko binda suma bopa. Then he gave me a cautionary statement. Chila madali johe na linga hamne mo mo large malima wara binda. I said then I'm going to court then. I requested for the independent witness. Then he said, hold on for a minute. He went to the panel room. He came and said that, they say, let me just write it like that. Did, 
he read any charges to you before giving you the cautionary statement ndax jangalo nañ la tumal bo xamne dañ la ko tuma balam la jangal kadu bob no he did not read any charge to me deri waxul ma dara lo xamne mom lañ ma tumal he tell you the offenses that you were accused of before giving you the cautionary statement ndax waxon na la ya tumal biñ la wara def wala yaahu yaahu yi nga def balam la jox kadu bob not a single am jox ma dara was uttered to me am dara lu ma jox what so sorry what happened after you wrote your statement la na xew bi nga bindé sa kadu yoyu i wanted to sign dama bugo na sign he said no ñu ne dedi then he took the statement to the panelist non la jele statement bi yobbu ko ci ñi nga xamne ñoo nekk ci panel ba later he escorted me to the panelist gana mu yobbu man ak ci ñom and then haydara uttered that return him to my two ci la haydara dal di wax ne delo len ko my two then i went down the stairs ci la wacc escalier malik jata Malik Jata caught me by surprise. Eh mom na daf ma betab mako gisé. I did not hear even a noise. Deguma sax ben yëngatu. He he used the cocking handle of the rifle. Mo dal di jël li nga xamné mo di loxo fétel bi and bash my head. Dal di ko dor ci suma bopa bi. On my left side of my head. The left side of my head. Ci suma bori chamoñ bi ci suma bopa bi. And blood started oozing from my head. I use my hand to wipe it. Ma jël suma loxo né dama ko fompa. But it still continues. Waye mu ngi continuer bété di sotté di natcha. Then I entered the vehicle. Ci la dugé ci moto bi. I was taken straight to mile 2. Ci lañ may yobbu mile 2. Did any one order Malik Jata to hit you? Ndax dafa am ku jox Malik Jata bobu kadu pour mu dor la. Nobody ordered my jata to hit me. Did it? Can diga luko pour mu dor ma? Because I can fully remember. Ndax te mun na fatale ko. In 1998. At 1998. I was duty officer at Yundum Barracks. Man ma ne kon duty officer Yundum Barracks. I was going round. Ma ngi won wodalu. By 3 AM. Ñetti waxtu yi ci haaju guddi. He was a sentry man beside the kitchen. Amna ko xamne mo ngi won ci bori wagn bi and i saw cigarette light ma gis tal tal cigarette so when i approach he put it off bama ex jege ñe nak mu fey ko and i was smelling cannabis on him ma ng doon xentu nak tay ci mom i went to the guard room ma dem ci fañoo garder guard room ba inform the um, the guard commander pour xamal ki nga xamne mo fa jité ñi garder to replace him pour mu jël kenen mu wéccu ko and put him in cells dugal ko cell the following morning a signal message was sent ci elex ci suba nak ñu yone ma xibar that a sentry man was caught smoking cannabis ne amna ko xamne jappa nañ ko fofu mo ngi tuk tay and you, you think that um, him hitting you was his personal grudge against you for what you did back in 1998 the disciplinary action you took against him ñu melni dal li tax mu dor la da fa meron so legi mu nge jël lolu pour fay ko ci yow pour 1998 li nga defone pour ñu yar ko 100% wa lolu kay orna ba ping part from malik jata on that very day ganaw malik jata ci bes bu did anyone else do anything to you ndax amna kenen kula def dara no is only uh sana manjang who was advising him to stop Edit hana sanya manjang ni ko no digal ne na bayyi But when we arrive at mile 2 Why not bañ ege mile 2 When Omar Koli uh, saw me blood oozing from my head Bama Omar Koli gise dara ji natcha baye ko suma bopa bi He said sa what happened to you Ci la mané ma yow lan mo la jot sa I told him this is done by Malik Jata Mané ko li de Malik Jata ma ko def Then he said I will advise them to stop mune ma dina len digal nañu bayyi i entered the security wing ma duga security wing 
then Omar Kouli called the medic. Omar Kouli or Ninga Hamle Nyoy Fakati. Who happened to be Sergeant James Jata, but he's late now. Jamano Jojo Nak, Sergeant James Jata Lawan, while Legi the Fergina Adina. He dressed my head. Mudal did the Farsuma Bokami. Then I went inside my cell. Chila Duga Chisuma cell. The following morning. Chelexa Chisuba. I removed my JC Plover. Magene Suma Babi Masolon. With my under vest. Axuma Gens of Chisuf. It was given to the mess boy. They wash it. I was naked the whole day. I was naked on top. Till around five. Then I put it on again. After that, after that trip to my to the NIE. Ganao send them bobo put them NIE. Were you taken back to the NIE at da, any point? Yes. Da, la NIE. I went again on the twenty fifth. Wow, they alone in my forward near Africa for a Jurum, Jewel, yes me. Can you tell us whether you are the only one that was taken there on the twenty fifth? I was alone. What happened on that 25th? I was taken to a separate room. Then they brought an independent, the manufacturer an independent witness called Babu from Bara. I told him that you were not present when I was writing my statement. How can you be a witness to this? He said, I have been doing this with the NIA here. I said, then it's fine. So he was a professional independent witness for the NIA. Mungimel ni mom da famin ti ligay bobo dineka a a said ti loho NIA ifufu. If there is a word better than professional, we can use it, ma. Suma mune wa bena kad bo hamne mo kumun ligay bala dinako wa. So what happened after you told him that he was not present at the time your statement was taken? Then he signed. I, I read my statement. And there was nothing changed. I signed. And then he signed. So I was escorted to the panel again. And Haidara said, take him to the torture chamber. Before then, um, when you were given your statement again to read over and sign. He did they at that point charge you with any offense? There was nothing. They did not inform me anything. You mentioned being led to the panel. Yes. Can you tell us the composition of this panel you were led with? Haidara. Uh, Dembaso. Dembaso. Lamin Cham. Lamin Cham. Boto Keta. Boto Keta ang for one. Uh, with uh, one gentleman, Bajinka. A Kenya kuya wa Bajinka. There's an uh, from the NIA. There's an other guy called Bin Laden. He I'm was having a bushy beer. I'm not Kenya kuya oy Bin Laden. Mom siki mom musakala amon. He's a tall, lanky guy. Mom na kuya al pangkala. With some soldiers armed, armed to the teeth. Then Haidara said, take him to the torture arena. Haidara said, you have to go to the torture Before he ordered that they should take you to the torture arena. Were you asked any question? 
I was asked no question. No question was asked. Where was this torture arena? Wow, fun line there. As you descend from the stairs behind the building, there are trees there. And then they will put you in the middle. What did they do to you? I was beaten mercilessly. They told me to sit down. Sticks. Wine wire. I banta ag I wire. Whose pipe? I pipe. Even with iron also. I think that is like a hammer. Lolo da famel ni marto. Who were the individuals carrying out this torture? Nyanyo la dondi metital nunu. Sana manjang. Sana manjang. Malik Jata. Malik Jata. Mustafa Sane. Mustafa Sane. Michael Korea. Michael Korea. Nua Baji. Nua Baji. Modu Jaju alayas Rambu. Modu Jaju nyuko oye Rambu. And some I did not see. Ak nyanen. Because these people are the ones that normally escort me. Three will be in the vehicle with me. Modu Jaju, Sana Manjang, and Malik Jata. Modu Jaju, Sana Manjang, and Malik Jata. And the rest will be in the second vehicle as backup. How long did this torture last? Bill, Bill, I met it all noon. Nyata wakula jil. It went up to thirty to thirty-five minutes. Dem na beti diri fanware be fanware a minute akjiro. But if I if I yell at the top of my voice, they say stop, 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 stop. Esuma yuho bu ba ba higade ganja bail, bail, bail. But if you are trying to be brave, they will just kill you. Why bo buge ja inja mbarnak de nja buga reide. Then. I was escorted back. Then blood was oozing also from from my head again. Because they beat me till the plaster is off. And before that, uh, when I went, Haidara asked me, "Why are you plastering your head?" Bala lolo na Haidara la jon na malana ta my plaster suma bopa bi. I told him that it's Malik Jata that wounded me. Mane ko Malik Jata dey mama gany. He said if you don't cooperate, mone maso andu agli nyawa. You will see more of this. Dinga gislene lugi na metili. I said I'm ready to see more of this, but the truth is what I'm going to tell you. Mane pare na na kpur gis lugi na metili wa na ndu tere dega virak la le nawa. So I was escorted back to mile two. Chila ni magunge wa yo buma mile two. Um, this time around, can you tell us the kind of injuries that were inflicted on you? Tion bini munga nyawa yan fasung ganyonga am nyom se chisen metital bobo. The saw on my head just widened a bit. Ne we bichi suma bopa vidal digi na yoko. And I was having general body pain. Suma yaram biye pangdon meti. What happened when they took you back to Malto? The normal protocol, I'm taken to the reception. They remove the handcuff. Give them a receipt that I am in at uh, mile two. And then escort me back to my cell. So I requested to Omar Kuli. I want the medic to come and dress me. He said, okay. I told him, can I sit outside here with the officers and wait? He said, no, go back to yourself. So I went in. 
and they locked me in. So I was waiting for the medic. But the medic did not turn up. I called the officer. He said that the medic was here. But uh, Omar Koli alias Jagai told him not to treat you. Why Omar Koli you so the guy went. So I removed my pullover. Took my undervest. And then squeeze it on, on my head. Press it against the wall. Till after a time. Then the oozing ceased. Till in the morning, then my colleagues started coming to me and said, Sorry. I said, Don't worry. Everything will come to an end. Why did you think uh, Omar Koli didn't allow you? to see a medic on that day, even though you were injured? Lutah Omar Kuli, Nangwood, Purfat Kalbinyo, which you are Purfat, let him from the Kani time, Bobu Yangigan. I cannot just imagine whether he is giving instruction from somewhere because we used to be very close. When I was posted to State House in 1989, we worked together. I went to Saudi Arabia with him with the f first president of the republic. We traveled to so many countries, but I don't know why he was treating me like this. Munu ma ham sah man, ci suma bobu tax muy ma def lolu. Ndax te dañ jégeñante won lool euh ñekkon nañ ci liggéey ndor 1989 and on nañ Saudi Arabia ak president bu ñëk ba euh dañ jégeñante won motax may do xala da munu ma ham lan motax muy ma doon def li. At that point, how many of you were detained? To be honest, I can't count because number five alone is 99 cell and it was full to capacity. So, I can't count because number five alone is 99 cell and it was full to capacity. And number four can house 34, 35. And number one is 12 cells. Number one, uh, focus cell at Nyar Lawon. So everywhere was full to capacity. Funeka da fa face on del. Were there were they only military detainees? There were Ufu. civilians. There I were I civilians. Well, the recovery conda. Notables like MC Cham. I'm not. Uh, that notable lawyer Antuman Gay. I'm not I borrow to you for Nekon, Kumel Nekon. A Lebanese, a Lebanese very Antuman old man. Gay, a Bena, while Lebanese, Koham Nesa Magetla. I think he's Mr. Diab. I do, I'm not sure of this one name. How ma Mr. Diabla, how ma Santa be Uruma? But I think he's from Janjamburi. I forgot Janjamburi la Bayeko. Do you know if your fellow detainees also went through the same ordeal as you at that point? Nda, Hamgane. Everybody have a taste of the soup. Yeah, Dabo his eye. Ibulo also his leg. Ibulo mom tankambi. Uh, Staff Sergeant Manlafi call, he cannot even see. Staff Sergeant Manlafi call, my muntah gisa. Was that his head? Was that my bopambi? Sering Omar Fall, they use a knife, to, want to slaughter him like a chicken. Sering Omar Fall, my dengel paka, buka korren di kom gana. And many others. Ah, nene, nene, nene. The, the Honorable Demba Dem, Honorable them, madam. For him, he was even vomiting blood. Mom, I don't touch that dirt. I don't watch you suck dirt. He vomits more than five liters. This our chamber pot. 
watu na kupasa juu ya milita sio pata samburi. After your second ordeal. Gana o metal bini la dufunu. Gana o nyarel bini. Were you taken back yes, to the NIA? Yes, I went back on the 27th. Wow, you were born in the NIA. Nyar fuki fana jiro nyar. You were we? I was taken straight to the panel. Chilengi ma you bucha panel ba. I met Baba Saho. Ma feka fa Baba Saho. For the body. For the body. Haidara. Haidara. Dembaso. Dembaso. Uh, Deputy CDS Lantombon Tamba. Katopacha CDS Balantombon Tamba. Usman Sonko. Usman Sonko. Boto Keta. Boto Keta. Lamin Cham. Lamin Cham. And the other soldiers armed to the teeth, the escort team. Aki the jungles. Soldari, nyo, nyo, jungles. Which security outfit did Bamba Sao and Baba Saho and Fode Bari belong to? They were in the NIE. Fode Bari Boka. Nyom NIE lein. But they were called upon because of this case. Then lein o ngir heo heo bini. How about Usman Sonko? Usman Sonko was the then Inspector General of Police. Usman Sonko jama na jojo nang moji te won police bi. What happened this time around? Bi on naglana fa heo. Haidara, again, is the lead investigator. He said, tell us all what Ndu Cham told you. Haidara, be on the Moji, to on like the head of Munema. And what you leave to know how Ndu Cham was not like that. I said, Ndu Cham never, ever spoke to me. Manele, Ndu Cham, Musuta Wahaman. He said that if you don't talk, We'll deal with you. Then uh, Baba Saho asked me, Do you think you are fit to leave in the next uh, minute? I gaze up. And I saw mosquitoes flying. I told him that if mosquitoes are fit to leave, what about me? Then Haidara and his, he was attempting to slap me. And Baba Saho told him, stop. So that is where they took me. He, they, he gave a... Another instruction, let them take me down. To the same area where the torture arena. When Haidara was given this instruction, was he specific as to what, where, what should happen to you? Take him down is to go to the torture arena. Bode ge nyuna wache korek mo ede la yo bukur miti tala. Did any of the people in the panel? Nda amna kena chinga hamne nyungi bokon chi panel bifufu. Protest us to the procedure there. No, pro bany linja wara de fufu. Did it? Can banyot? Nobody protested. Who were the people that took you down? My escorters, my escorters, Malik Jata Sana Manjang, Malik Jata Sana Manjang, and the other junglers. Again, and junglers. Take us into detail one by one. What happened and what did they do? When you bena bena, lana he ufufu ag lan lanja defio. They escorted me down to the torture arena. Challenge me your buff and have never let you meet it all in it. And told me to sit down. You know not talk. But I cannot sit with the cough. I first have to kneel down. Why mono ma talk? Not a chair. Before I must sit down. I kneel down and then. 
she last after shook sit her, down. The parasoga talk. And then the rain started coming on me. What did they use to beat you? Lala gai jefo prudor la. The 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 same materials. Jum tuwa inje kona amerek. And this time around, I was trying, but this guy covered his face. Why be on? If I'm coham de fun no bakana mambi. Because he even used plier. And that the fajel plier. Slip my flesh and was trying to. Dal de kepa suma derby, de kohecha. But when I yell, why bama yuho? He remove it. Mugeneko. And then was using the plier and beating me with the plier. Plier, plier, but nagdi makudo. I was there roughly 35 this time to 40 minutes. Pala neka digente fun we are minute agjurum be fun nyenen fuki minute. And when Musa Jame said stop, stop. Ba Musa Jame ne bail, bail. That is how they escorted me to the vehicle. And straight to mile two. mile two. The same procedure, Jagaid was there. He received me. The prison officer gave them the receipt that I am in. And they go and dump me in my cell. This time around, can you tell us the injuries that they inflicted on you? The, the plier that they apply on my flesh. With the, the wound again. And then continuous general pain, body pain. Did they provide any medical attention when you arrived at mile two? I was even reluctant to talk to Jagai again. I just went inside. And then drink water. Then after I talked to one officer, I said, if I don't have diclofen with me here, one day I will not wake up. So he bought diclofen for me and bring it. So I kept it. After that, did they take you back to the NIA again? The worst one was on the 10th of April. Tell us about that. At 1 a.m., I was fast asleep. I just heard a noise on my cell door. They opened my cell door. I just jump up. Madal di bur. Amal Koli said, "We are here for you." Amal Koli na yau len jersi. I said that, but it's unconstitutional. Mane waili andu takiwa. To take out inmates or detainees. Pur jail ko ham na yung koti e chikaso bifi. I think the CPC says. 1800 hours. No, no inmate should go in or out. You say that you are going. I said I'm here. They said you are not going. You are not going. I said I'm here. I stepped out and I was coughed again. And then I was escorted out to security wing number five. Put me in my Huma car. And then straight to NIA headquarters. This time around, were you the only one that was taken to the NIA? Uh, Sorry, on this, on this uh, fateful day, early morning, I went with. The former Speaker of the House, Sidif Mustafa Adiba. They did. Be on mom. Mangi anda akanga hamne muso nane ka Speaker chinegi deputy Sidif Mustafa Adiba. A very old man. He cannot even get down from the stairs. Iko hamne magla sah munta wacha sah iskalei. You have to support him to go down. Ngajapa leko muna wacha iskalei. 
So then we went. I was in the first vehicle, and this time, my backup vehicle, that is where they place him. Man, man, you want to motor be chicken and be your next motor be done top of Simagana, warm falling Kudugal. So when we arrived, Bang Age. He was taken to the reception. New York, we got reception, ba. On passing the reception, Bang Faramba. I saw Tumbul Tamba. Magis Tumbul Tamba. With uh, Noah Baji. Mom, at Noah Baji. And an other jungula. At Benin jungula. Then I was taken straight to the torture arena again. Chile Majeliu Buad ma fanyo mitisali nitni. So Malik Jata told me. Malik Jata nema. Today. Hey. Today you have to inform us all what Ndu Cham told you. Ding nyo wah lepalula Ndu Cham wah. This time around, Sion Bini. Did you have to go through up the panel? No, they let Jaral see panel B. No, they did not take me to the panel. Straight to the torture arena. They did. Jaral will make a panel. We move jam. Morinyo turn up. Morinyo left guest way. Jaral will move far. Happened after Malik Jata told you that you have to tell them all that Nur Cham revealed to you. Lana hell, Ganao, Bila Malik Jata wa hene, te ding you wa lepolo hamne Nur Cham wa nalako. I told him that Nur Cham never ever spoke to me. It's Alpha Ba who told me last year and I rubbish him. Wahna kone, mande Nur Cham musuta wa haman. Alpha Ba, mo wa hona mon dao. He said that if you don't tell us today, it's not going to be easy with you. I said, I'm ready to die, but the truth I will tell you. So I saw Tumbul Tamba walking on his toes. Of the light, and then a plastic bag was put on my head. But as God helped me, that I was cough in front. Then I happened to create a hole with my two fingers. I was breathing. When the plastic bag was placed over your head, was it left hanging there? It was twist on the right side, and then the guy handled it properly. So if I was not coughed in front, I would have died. So fair corner man, chain a big man of neck to crunch canam. You can't imagine. Because I was able to create a hole. Nick fair hair one now, better for pa. That is how I was breathing. Chila munon dinoki. They use the electric wire. New gel boomi kurang. Put it on my head. If kuch suma bopa vi. And it was bright like daylight. Mungil layer na kumbichik. It was just like when a welder man is welding an iron. That is how you see the sparks. And the plastic bag melt on my head. Then it seems as God is directing me. Anytime they want to put it again on my head. I raised my hand. They did it four times. The marks are visible on my hand. Here. What marks were those? Those are electrocuted marks. How many times did they put the electric wires on your head. Four times. One on my head. You mentioned that when they put the 
electric wire over your head, the plastic melted. Wahongana being the fair Kurang Bobu mass yes. like a bopa, mbusi nylon bobu the first say. Yes, part of the plastic melted. Wow, Liana, Chimusi nylon be the first say, Chisuma bopa. How many plastic bags did they put over your head? Nyata mbusi nylon line the solar They used six plastic bags. Do you know who was the individual that placed the plastic bag over your head? Hamonga Kanala Solalon Busi Nylon Yui. Noa 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 Baji. Noa Bajila. Because Nick. I knew it when it was the last plastic bag. I trained together with him in 1992-93. Man dama jangandor ak mom 1992-93. For one year, immediately he spoke. Te jangane diri at motah bam wahe. I recognized the voice. Hame bad bi. And then Tumbul Tamba was not happy with it, and he told him, "You will pay for it." The Tumbul Tamba contacted you and the Munakolinga definitely didn't cope with it. Then I was told to stand up. Chilenyi ma wahne na jokta hau. The plastic bags that were placed on your head. Busi na ilon yoyu ni la sola lono nuti sabo. Were they placed on your head the same time? Nda hiyo ni yepi bena ta hawa ilenyi la sola lono. One after the other. Then kofa don sol then na par bena. They will beat me till it is burst, and they will put another one. Did they beat you before electrocuting you, or they electrocuted you before beating you? They learn you cannot do. Balangi la maskurang, wala they learn you can maskurang you so blado. They electrocuted me before the before the beating. They maskurang the balangi ma do. What what did they use to beat you with? There are no more materials. There is thick wire, with iron, hammer. Apart from putting plastic bag over your head, electrocuting you, you mass la akurang. And beating you. What else did they do to you? During the beating, two people were standing in front of me. They will kick me with their boots and then scrape my flesh. All my legs, my flesh was all scraped. And two people were standing on my side, kicking me on my hip. Even my right hip is swollen up till now. They were doing this with military boots on. Yes. Wow. yes. Wow. And the sole of the military boot is quite rough. It's rough and it's very hard. It, it, it is better for somebody to slap you with his hand rather than taking that boot. The two people that were standing over your leg. Will stomp on your leg. Yes. And scrape the flesh of your feet. With their boots. Yes. Wow. And the two people on the side. Were kicking you on your. Hips. My hips. And there were two also behind me. The one was hitting me on my on my spinal cord, the waist. And the other one was hitting me on my shoulder. What were they using to hit you on your waist and your shoulders? They were using this horse pipe and the stick. 
Was this done at the same time? Simultaneous. And alone. Hmm? Yes. Wow. The scraping of the flesh of your leg. Hitting you on your hips. And while the others are hitting you with hose pipe on your back. On your shoulders. Yes, Consul, it was done simultaneously. Wow, Consul, no one could defend all. How about the electrocution? That they have stopped the electrocution. Because, uh, for them, when they first did the one on the head, they found back. Because they were afraid also. How did it feel having electric current running through your body? It seems as you remove five kilos from my body. And I was feeling dizzy throughout. What else did they do to you? They that one I don't I, I don't want to disclose it. Uh, Mr. Chairman, you have that information on the PIS, I'll which I will tender later. Then from, from the, that one, that I don't want to disclose, then they told me to stand up again. They pushed me towards the east. You push me. To buy pen I just use my hand to cover my face. Which leave a wound on my hand. My left hand. They then bring me back. Push me towards the south. Push me to the south. I use the same method to cover my hand, my face. I have another wound here. And these cars are all present. Sorry, what caused the SARS? Because they were pushing me towards the edge of the window so that my forehead will hit the window and then it will be open. But God say, just cover your face. And I was protected. Still, up till now, my hand, and because the way they push me with force, and how my hand hit the edge of the window, oh, it was very painful. What else did they do to you? When I, you yep, lang, lang, there, they asked me to sit down. Musa Jame came hypocritically. Musa Jame came at Nafi Hayam. Commander, you are the one they are beating here. Munaha, Commander, you are the one they are beating I say, I'm the very one. Mana Koman Lade. He said, Okay, don't beat him again. Munawa, Bulen Kodorati. They usher me to the reception, where the former speaker was seated. When he saw me, he started trembling. You know, in Mandinka, when, when he is caught by surprise, he said, I look
Can you please help us translate that in English? Because they were not doing that. Well, what he said was that when the former speaker saw him, he was so shocked that he started trembling. What he said in Mandinka was that if, you, uh, uh, if a Mandinka person is surprised in that way, well, they always feel shocked. And what followed was that he was saying, Mba Koko, that means, ah, to my mother, I have never seen anything like this. On the whole, this type of cruelty is existing in this country. And that was because of the state you were in? Yes. The, Wow. Well, how long were you tortured? The, the plastic bags take almost 20 minutes. And uh, the this one that I don't want to disclose went for three minutes. And this other one, five minutes. Into by five. Almost one hour, 20 minutes. There about. Did they try to do any other thing to you? Da any other technique of torture to you? The guy wanted to put me in a bag. I refused that one. I said, unless you kill me and then take me to the mortuary. But I will not allow that. So then Musa said, leave him. Then he went up and came down, Watch out. I'm sure he was talking to somebody, <laughs> and then he said, okay, take them back to mile two. After being tortured for one hour, 20 minutes or thereabout. Were you able to walk? Were you able to walk? I cannot walk. With the electrocution and uh, the merciless beating, beating on my spinal cord and my shoulder, beating on my spinal cord and my shoulder, I was helpless. And the doctor said, I called the attention of uh, Sana Manjang. I want them to help me slacking the cough because my my hand was swollen like a pancake so he said no we forgot the key at uh, mile two but michael korea spoke in our language that he is telling lies is in the vehicle. If he moves from this place, I will bring the key and open it. So when he moved, he went to the vehicle and bring the key. That is how he is slacking it. And then my hand started to go down. Uh, you mentioned that Sheriff Mustafa Adiba was quite frightened. Was anything done to him that night? Uh, for Sheriff Mustafa Adiba, even if you say who by that time he will die, he was he was panicked. The state I was in, he was just shivering. Even the handcuff when the I have two two wounds here, and, and the scars are still present. Chene bin chene won suma loho bisa. I'm bente. I'm na nyari ganyu ganyu. You look at yangi ni fufu. Did they provide any medical assistance to you before taking you to mile two? Nda dimbale won la chimbir fanch balengla delo mile two. Then that I will be a VIP. I was just taken direct. 
su boba kay bon dina nek nit kuñ fonka man dañ ma jël rek yobuma maltu tell us what happened when you arrived at maltu in that state wañu bi ngeen age maltu ci anam bobu ni nga mel nonu the normal protocol niñ ko def faral di defé rek omar koli omar koli i cannot even walk to the reception munu ma wona dox sax dem ega ci reception ba they have to support me dañ am pour dimbalé ma il we enter the reception be bañu eggé ci reception ba moy fi ñoo dalal nit ñi the cuff were removed from my hands ci lañ gëné ciéna bi ci suma loxo bi and the receipt was given to them ci lañ la won nak na exina and i was escorted and they still support me to go to my room be yéggé dañ ma dimbalé pour ma mëna dox dem ci suma sel bi i told omar koli again ci la waxati omar koli né please help me with the medic dimbalé ma ci fajj kat yi He said okay. Mune baahna. Till today. Betay. I did not see that medic. Gisuma ben fajkat. I then try to smuggle my under vest. Ci la jeem na pour rawale li nga xamne moy suma jital bi, ma gen so bi. It was all stained with blood. Nga xamne mu ngi fess del ak deret. Sent to my wife. Ma yone ko suma jabar. So that we uh, it can be given to my lawyer. Bu ko defé ñu mën ko jox suma lawyer bi and the medical paper that the Egyptian doctor gave me ak kayti docteur bi nga xamné docteur Egypt mo mako jox how long were you not able to walk on your own after your foot torture ñaata waxtu la jël euh biñ la metital yi ba pare ba mënu lo dox doxal sa bopa ñaata waxtu la jël i did not get you clearly counsel me the first one or the foot torture the foot torture You know tell me. I think it almost uh, a week even a week even before I see the doctor. Bobu mom yel. My colleagues yel na bes bu ay bala ma gis doctor. My colleagues have to help me to usher me to the toilet to take bath. Suma na tango yi ñoma doon dimbele pour yobuma ci wanak bi ba mëna sangu. And then bring me back. Delo ci wat ma. There is one uh, a very good prison officer. Amna kena ko xamne ku bax la mu doon liggey fofu ci kasso bi. I don't want to mention his name. Bugo ma tu da turam. He cannot even continue to serve in the prison service. Mu to na continue sax pour liggey ci kasso bi fofu. He then resigned. Ci la bayyi liggey bi. He is now working with the police. Mu ngay liggey ak police bi. He was a sergeant and he is even He is given a couple now a, a corporal rank in the police. Sajin la won jamono juju way legi sax couple lañ ko def. If he was in the uh, prison service by now he kon must ki... have been a superintendent or chief superintendent. Ne kon ci prison bi ba legi ni kon superintendent la don wala chief superintendent. What was the state of your body before you saw a doctor? Say yaram bi ci ban anam la nekkon naka la melon bala nga mu na gis doctor. My hands were still swollen. Suma loxo ya ngi non newi ba legi bobu. And everything was black here. Te suma loxo yep ñu lon ku. Likewise my legs. Suma tankay. Because my flesh is all scraped off. Nik suma der bi yep xolle ko na. General body pain. Suma yaram bi yep don meti. But uh, with the help of that uh, sergeant waye nik nimbali sajin bi ma wax ni normally bring diclofen to me mo de indi garab bi ñoo wax diclofen uh together with sea water indi wale ko ak diw ngalam and other medicated balm ak yeneen ni garab yo xamne ay diw la help me a lot lolu dimbale won na ma nak if he was not if he was not there su taxuto na mom by now i should have been in the graveyard ah ni kon waxtu wi nak mang ci bir bamel i thank him very much gërem na ko torop how were you able to see a doctor lana naka nga def de phone be nga mëna gis docteur i requested through the officer who was in charge of security wing dama ko saaku jaarale ko ci ki nga xamne mom moy ka fa doon liggeyte saytu wali security wing he 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 testified here also mom tam ñew na fi waxna fi his name is ali cisse superintendent ali cisse mom mo ngi tudda superintendent ali cisse he said he have informed david koli mo ne waxna david koli and uh, i repeatedly be reminding him 
bantu wana kodiko fateli il god odin idi after one week yalla dal di dogal nak ben bese gannaaw ben bese bo ay an egyptian doctor came in ben doctor bo xamne wa egypt la mu ñew fa he was riding on a cd7 egypt diplomatic mission egypt seven moto bo xamne bu diplomatic mission egypt la won really i don't know his name mom nak xaw ma turam but he was a technical assistant at the rvth by then jamanu joju mo don liggey fofu ci l'hopital bu mag bi ci banjo and after you saw the doctor gana bi nga gisse doctor bi was he able to help you ease the pain you were in ndax munna la dimbele pour wagni sa metit yaram bi sa li la don di meti he gave me a prescription dafa ma bindal garab and uh, a mile to prison don't have it te mile to prison amul won garab yoyu so i have to send it to my family dama am pour yone ko suma mbokay they have to buy it for me ñu am pour jëndal mako then i was using it mom la don jëfu how long were you in detention before being taken to court ñaata waxtu nga def ci wax jappa biñu la jappa nonu bala ñu la yobu court in fact i can't remember how many days or month one friday afternoon around 4 we were arraigned at the high court in banjul munu ma fatale ko nak ñaata wer la wala ñaata bes la way xamna ne dafa tombe a ben ajuma ci becce ci la ñu yobu nak ci court ba a tekay ba The case was presided by a, by a Commonwealth judge called Justice Munyagin. She is from Botswana. Kiko jite won moy ku ñoo wax Justice Munyagin mo mu ngi baye ko Botswana. During your trial were you represented by counsel? Si sa eh ate bi waxtu biñ la ate dafa am 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 nga lawyer bu la tawal won. The first day we were not represented. Bes bu ñeka ba amu amuñ ben lawyer. on the second day we were able to send word to our families to look for a counsel for us eh ci ñaareli bes bi nak ñu fexé yone cadeau ci suñu mbokay pour ñu fexé dimbele ñu amal ñu loya how many of you were charged yeen ñaata nit lañ tumal nonu i think six of us were charged with concealment of treason pokna jurom ben ci ñun lañ waxon ne dañ xamon ne ñu doon waaja soufu ngor gi ba paré jéglé wuñ ko na four four military guys also we are charged with uh, treason amna ñeneen ci soldat yo xamne ñom dañ wax ne dañ doon pexé pour daané ngor gi and the civilian aspect also four we are charged with treason ci wali civil itam ñeneen ti lañ wax ne dañ doon pexé pour daané ngor gi then later they charge two others gana bi nak ci lañ daldi indi ya ñeneen ñaar as far as you could recall yo ci li nga mëna na fatale ko li nga mëna fatale ko where all the people who were arrested in connection with the 2006 coup plot were they charged ñep ñiñ jappone ci mbiri 2006 coup d'etat bu yahoubi ndax ñoñu yeb eh dañ leen tumalon No, some we are released before we we are arraigned before a court. Did it? I'm not sure how many by in England, but I know you but you court be. People like uh, Honorable MC Cham. Come on, Honorable MC Cham. Uh, lawyer Antuman Gay. Lawyer Antuman Gay. That Lebanese pa. A Lebanese pa, bo bo a jo jo a Lebanon be. and uh, a handful of others ak ay ñene dal ñu sakan how do you feel about your trial during how do you feel about your trial sa ate bi nim deme naka nga ko gisi it was just a kangaroo court lolu kay court la bo xamne bu jubali la won rek because in the in the in the first place na ca ca ñel ben there was nothing in the cpc amu dara lo xamne mu ngi won ci tip book bi 
called concealment of treason. Lo hamne wone nane den don nuba linga hamne yek nengo chimbere hew hew. In 2006 by then. Jaman wo 2006 la won. It is after our sentence. Gana abo hamene na tej nengo be pare. In 2009, Atum 2009, I cannot remember who was the Minister of Justice. It's the one that tabled the bill in the National Assembly for concealment of treason to be included in the CPC. You felt that your you were unfairly tried. Well, Ngagis Nidal, so sa atebi, nekul atebu jub. Million percent. Wow, wow, Mubasa. Were you eventually sentenced? Nah, muje no in latej. I was sentenced to ten years. Ten nyan madiri fuki at. And before before the sentence. Balan madon tej. Even before going to the court martial, Bala Madon dem sache atte kai soldari. There was an opinion from the DPP. Amon na kila bubaye ko DPP. Change our cautionary statement to witness statement. Kai pour nous voir si l'inga hamne moi son cadoui, l'inga hamne de nous don lagle ki nous nous servei. Ali Sisi came and said that we are going to be witness. Ali si senyone legi nyun ay sede le nyun yon. They opened us early in the morning. Nyu ube nyu che subatel. Six of us we took bath and went to NIA headquarters. Nyun jirom ben nyu sangu dem ki NIA headquarters. All of us we are placed in different rooms, different offices. Nyu duga la chief office bu ute aksamoro. And they told us to change our statement. Nyu nene nyue che sun kadui. If they cannot process the paper that Friday, they will release us on Monday. And that thing never happened. What did they want you to change your statement to? Because I think the, the DPP is the one who normally study case file and then advise the police or the government whether this can be prosecuted or not. And eventually you were sentenced to 10 years imprisonment. Yes. During wow. the course of your detention at mile two prisons. Did your family have access to you? After my sentence. Before, before both before by. and after, during your detention and after your sentencing. <laughs> after we went to court for the second uh, for the second time then we were allowed to have access to our family members but every uh, is just 10 minutes sometimes five minutes Sometimes the director will say there is an embargo on visit. And after when we were sentenced, in fact, sometimes it will go for three months. Imagine the whole year you see your family four times. And the prison act. Says, ne. a prisoner is entitled to a visit every fortnight. But for them, as they do not understand fortnight, it, they are taking it for four four weeks. So those things as he wish.
during your trial? Did anyone testify of your involvement in the coup? There is no one that testified against me in the coup. All the evidence before the court martial. Both the exhibits. And the witness that came. No one in incriminated me. How about Alphaba? Well, Alpha Banak. Alpha Banak, they said um, even the the judge advocate asked the DPP, where is Alpha Banak? He said that it's among those that escaped to Casamas. And some of the lawyers, defense lawyers, were laughing. And um, of course, the commission has received testimony. Commission, we am na jodna chi miri serei. That Alpha Ba and uh, others. Ne nyubane ne Alpha Ba agnyenen. Ali Usise was just opposite myself. Ali Usise mom da majakalo mom sunseli. Three a.m. I had the knock at the security wing gate. If that gate is knocked upon, all inmates have to sit down. You have to put on your trouser and your shirt. Because you, you will not know whether they are going to touch your door. They came to the last row and directly opened his cell. He was fast asleep. They have to tap him. You say, Luhew. You say, Get up. You are going to Janjambure. They blindfolded him with the plastic bag. Tie him. And then cough him at the back. That time it was very cool. He said, please allow me to take my jacket. I was standing by my window. Looking at them. I thought that they, they might even come next, next is me. And they told him, no, later you will come and collect it. He was the only one that was removed from my row. And in the fourth row, the Marena and others were there. Marena was there, Ibulu was there. Manlafikor. And, and they escort them out. Yes, within a few days, we heard that these people escaped. The vehicle had an accident. There. And everybody was laughing. Why were you laughing? Because it's a cooked up story. You knew at that point that they were executed. Yes. Even some of the junglers who were brought in prison, they told us that when, when they killed them, even Sanamanjang's pistol dropped in the well. What has, what has been the impact of your detention? On you and your family? It was a big blow on me. 
Because my my plot of land at Burusubi phase one, which is next to the church, I have to dispose it because my son was going to sixth form marina. And there was nowhere that we can pay. So we have to dispose that uh, to pay for the boy. And my children were traumatized. But my wife and the family, they were always consoling them. What is the state of your health at, at this moment? I'm just trying to be strong, but uh, to be honest. But to even to walk sometimes, 100 meters, I have to stop and do some squatting before I can continue. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Witness. Thank you for answering all of my questions. Mr. Chairman, at this point, I would like to put in uh, his protected information sheet as exhibit. That will be exhibit uh, 171. Exhibit uh, Thank you, Council. Your request is uh, granted. That will be all from me, Mr. Chairman. That's all. Thank you, Council. And. Uh, Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel Pierre Mendy, for your testimony. Thank you, sir. Jerry Jeff, Lieutenant Pierre Mendy, Lingano Purjohe Sassedefi. Lieutenant Colonel Mendy, you seem to have served your country in uniform honorably and magnificently. Lieutenant Colonel, Lieutenant Colonel Pierre Mendy, Mungimel, Ligel Gasaru, Sin Jup Ak Yer Aktegin. In all the sectors that you have served in uniform, Tifana Yer Linga Ligay, Tibir uniform, Defnafa Loham Ligay Bubakla. Since the time of the first president Majora, Dipi Watu President Bunjika Bi Jawara. Up to this moment, you served your country very well. You went out um, uh, to difficult parts of the world. You serve the United Nations. United Nations. Uh, with the organization's um, uh, um, charter. I'm yeah. sorry, I'm a bit emotional. Um, what the treatment that you've gone through. Uh, yeah. So I may not be that um, uh, coherent um, uh, today. But to assist the organization mm -hmm. in its own preamble to save succeeding generations from the scourge of war. Dimbalenga Mbotai Bibubaha Baha Baha pour ar yenen fanay pour ñu reccha xex ci adina ci and what did you get in payment for that yo lo am ci fay ci liggey bu bax bobu nga def gruesome appalling torture metital bo xamne lu graw la lu metti la lo xamne def nañ la ko not in the hands of uh, an enemy combatant in whose hands you fell as prisoner of war you probably would have had better treatment in the hands of uh, uh, that um, enemy combatant. You got it from your own compatriots. 
Mike. Thank you very much, Chairman. Thank you very much, Mr. Mendy. Jerejef Chairman, Jerejef, Mr. Mendy. I wanted to know whether Alma Momane was worse before burial. The Mabugaham, Alma Momane, the Sanganan Kobalan Kosul. Sanguinko. He was not washed. So it was buried like that, and he is a, he is a Muslim. No, 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 Yes, because I asked. Me, I'm a Christian. Wow. I've never seen a Christian presiding over a Muslim burial. Wow, I'm a Christian. 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 I'm and I have never seen a dead body not washed before the burial rites. The Musumagis knew what happened. Then Kojel Sul no no rete sangunko. But it was instruction from my superior, which I cannot uh, deny. Why not? Lulu nigal labo hamne suma kilifa mama kusantan te mulo ma wana bany. And uh, I called the Muslim the the Muslim soldiers to come and do it. Why, Bama Hamene, not Munuma Wana, Bantere would the honor a soldier or Hamne, no Julie Lane to Nino Yanako. Thank you very much. Jerejif. Thank you, um, Commissioner Jones. Commissioner Jones, Bugana Lach. Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel for your testimony and sorry for everything you had to go through. Jerejef Lieutenant Colonel Chisa Sede Binga Joheni li nekana lo hamne lu daw yaram la li la dal. Regarding um, the sale of your land to pay for your son's tuition. Li nga jay sa kir sa pakabi pour fayal sa dom nyangam. I wish to inquire, was this while you were in prison or after your release? I was in prison by then. How were you able to, or how was the family able to um, keep up with the, with the needs of the family and other school fees whilst you were locked up? I was in prison by then. 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 I was in My wife is uh, walking. And there are well wishers who always chip in to help the family survive. Um, what, how many kids do you have? Sorry, may I ask? I have three, uh, two girls with one boy. Right, thank you. Thank you, Uma. Thank you. Um, Bishop, you have the floor, please. Bishop Odiko, Bugana Lalaj. Thank you, Chairman. Jerejif, Chairman. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Per John Mende. Lieutenant yes, Colonel Per John Mende. Did you serve the 10 years imprisonment, the whole 10 years? Bingla TJ Fuki Ad. Fuki Ad, we have got to the I served nine years, four months, and some days. And uh, thank you very much for this question because I left something out. Because as a Gambian, I should have remission. Commissioner 
chance to settle the Mamir? No, re remission, that is every 12 months, I should serve nine months. Ah, lolo lim teki moi. Eh, fuki wera nyar yuneka den ko wara ko dama wara tibe juro mienti wera. So that means I was supposed to serve 90, uh, 90 months. Lolo nak juro mien fuki wera la wara natida. That is uh, seven years, four months. Lolo moi juro mienti at at mienti wera. I told the deputy director that I'm a Gambian and I'm entitled for this remission. He said, no, soldiers are not entitled. I said, where is the document that states that soldiers are not entitled? He said, this is from the executive. I said, it's not correct. Government work with documents, but not with verbal instructions. Then I overstayed in prison. Because I was just supposed to spend seven years, four months. As the fictitious ten years they sentenced me. Then they said, I am pardoned. For what? After overstaying in prison. Nine years, four months. And there is, as I mentioned, there is nothing in the CPC in 2006 that says there is concealment on of treason. Put us, put us in a kangaroo court and just sentence us like that. And before, before the judge advocate wanted to pass his judgment, he said that some will go home today, but it's destiny, others will return to where they came from. With telephone calls, everything was changed. And everybody was sentenced. Three of us were sentenced to 10 years. Three others sentenced to uh, 25 years. And four others sentenced to life in prison. Where is the justice coming from? I'm so sorry for that painful ordeal. Mr. Chairman, before the witnesses' uh, final remarks, I'd like to rectify the exhibit number. It's actually 172, not 171. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Council. Um, Lieutenant Colonel Mendy, if you have any closing remarks to make, please yes. proceed to do so now. Yes, sir. Sir, so I thank you all you as the commissioner and your able commissioners. Sir, Mangla Gerem, you meet you the commission, we act you as a commissioner, you have no your topic, Sako. For the service you are rendering to this country. Chilige Burafet, Binga Hamna Yang, Korean and Code of Tiriumi. With your slogan, never again. Accent Kadugi, the one in a door to Fiwara Am. Gambians should love each other. Wa Gambia, then you are a Bugante. But hatred and jealousy that is what is making this country to retard. Patriotism is not in our vocabulary. What is in our vocabulary is greed. Greed is an insidious disease which 
can kill a nation. I am suggesting that that patriotism to be introduced in our curriculum in in our curriculum ne buga sa rew nen ko bole di ko jangale ci jangu yi in the civic education wherever it is ci li nga xamne fofu la ño wara jangale fu muna doon with all these tv stations we have ak television yu bari yi nga xamne mom lañ am we can be able to enlighten gambians mun ne ño e wa gambia and let us bear in mind te nañ baye suñ helne whether a muslim or a christian mo xam julit nga wala christian nga if you die bo de a christian is uh, a coffin a christian mi mom kess la and a muslim is 7 meters julit bi mom jurom ñaari meter la we are not going to take along anything that we are siphoning from our various offices amu dara lo xamne dinañ ko yobbu wale ci lo xamne mom lañu tisaro ci suñu office Therefore let us work amicably for our country. Ci ko lolu nañ liggey nak bu ba pour suñu rew. So that this country is a small country. Ndax te rew mi rew mu tuti la. We can go to higher heights. Mun nañ ñoo dem fu gëna ko we. But if one is digging. Way su kenn di gas. 20 is trying to bury the hole. Ñaar fu ka di suul. That hole you can't see it. Pax momu day do ko mu sa gis. All Gambians should come on board. Wa Gambe yeb dañ wara bolo. And regardless of religion ethnic group. Mo xam diina ban nga bokka mo xam ban xet nga bokka. We should all be one. Dañ wara nek ben and work towards the common goal of our country. Ligey andor ci lo xamne moy jemale suñu rew mi kanam. If you see other countries develop. Bo gise yenen rew yi ñu ngi am yokute. Patriotism is in their heart. Buga sen rew mo nek sen xol yi. They have no room for hatred and jealousy. Ñom amuñ bañ bañante ak kañanante ci sen xol. What they have is their country. Liñ fa am moy sen rew to make sure that they go to higher heights. Ngir gis ne rew ma jëm na kanam. Sa I thank you sir. Ma ngi len di gërem bu baax sa jërëjëf. Well, we should be the ones to thank you very much Emma, for coming to Uh, testify before the Sama Commission. Ñun kay ñun ño la wara gërem bu baax ci li nga nango ñew ci commission bi. You are right I'm a greed and uh, all these other things would not be and jealous. Anyway. Wax nga dega bugge ak mbagna kañaan. We would take nothing with us Sama to the grave. Amu dara lu ñoy yobale ci bamel bi. Not even bicycles some uh, that marabou see in their dreams. Bicycle wi nga xamne sax mom la serign ba genta sax do and ak ñun ci bamel. But we thank you very much um, uh, um, for coming to testify. Way ñu la gëre mat ci benen yoon ci li nga nango ñew pour joxe fi sa sede. We'll end our proceedings some uh, now. Fi la ñoo emalé nak tay. On Monday Jelu at 10:00. Lundi fukki waxtu yi ci suba. Meetings adjourned. Thank you all and have a safe weekend.